So I'm a chiropractor here at BTHQ. My job is to identify injuries while they're in the infancy before they come to be the problem. So when people first come in, they come see me and I give them an individualised uh, risk of injury profile. And then from there I can give guidance and advice to them and their trainer so they get the most out of their training. And you said that um, being a chiropractor, you take it to another level of being a chiropractor. Yeah. So as a chiropractor, I'm trained to have a spine focus, and we work from the spine outwards. However, I do a bit more than that. I work on the whole body to make sure I can identify problems that are in the peripheral joints, in the arms and legs, before they get to the spine as well. So what sort of treatments do you do in that way? I still use, like most chiropractors, uh, manipulations, but I also do a lot of soft tissue work, working on adhesion between muscles and nerves, or nerve entrapments. I also do dry needling. What's dry needling? Dry needling is similar to acupuncture, but instead of following meridians and points uh, in the acupuncture or Eastern medicine system, we find dysfunctional muscles and tissues and we put needles into those. What does that do? That stimulates the muscle neurologically and causes it to relax in most situations. A number of people, when they squat, they have dysfunction in their ankles, knees and hips. Uh, the knee is often a slave to the ankle and the hip, and so it becomes dysfunctional, usually seconds, but it needs to be resolved first, working back through the chain. And within a couple of visits, we've got his knees flexing from about two-thirds of, of its full motion to all of its full motion. So, obviously, most changes will have two components. One will be a reflexive change. That will go back after some time. You can usually change most tissues by poking, prodding, and just working with them. But some of that will revert. What we're looking for is, and measuring is the permanent change. Mm -hmm. So visit to visit, we're testing and retesting to mm -hmm. see is it changing, is it staying improved. So when I assess someone, I identify which joints are dysfunctional and we work on those if they want me to work on it. So they get the most out of the training to minimise risk mm -hmm. of injury. Um, and every six weeks, we do a review to identify injuries or problems that might have come up in the last six weeks. Mm -hmm. We need to give at least six weeks for small problems to manifest in a way that's identified. So after I identify problems in our functional movement screen, I speak with the trainers to pass on any modifications that might need to be made to training or areas of particular focus so that we work together as a team to get the best results for our clients.